Welcome to the Reality Revolution. Today's episode, we are going to do a meditation to link and unify and connect the heart and the mind. Hope you got a chance to watch or listen to a recent episode of the Reality Revolution, which was dedicated to Chapter 9 of Reality Transurfing by Vadim Zeeland. <clears throat> if you have never read that book, you should check it out. This is based on a deep dive. You don't have to have read the book or even listened to that episode to do this meditation. Our intention and goal is to align the heart and mind. For if we can do that, anything is possible. The key, the secret to outer intention, which is seeing things change on the outside of, the, of your world, seeing your reality change outside of you. The key to making that happen, to seeing miracles in your life, is your heart. This wonderful thing, this part of you, it also represents your subconscious mind. And this meditation goes to the very core of all of our identity. All the dichotomies come down to the heart and mind, the mother, the father, the sun and the moon. And now, heart and the mind. So I want you to find a place where you won't be disturbed. Take a deep breath and begin to relax. I want to tell you a story of an incredible journey. It goes beyond anything that you can fathom. For right now inside of your heart is the spark of the very essence of source of infinite intelligence, a sea of consciousness that is living and aware. Some people just call it the universe, some people call it God, but is an essential oneness to the entire universe. Imagine it like an ocean with waves rolling back and forth and on the very edges a sea spray and a drop launches itself and becomes separated from the ocean for a long time That spark inside of you, set in a void of blackness, we'll come back to that in a second. What I want you to do right now is to close your eyes and stop the mental chatter. Contemplate the blackness. By contemplating this blackness, you will manage not to think for a short period of time.
For a moment, your mind will be completely empty. And yet you do not stop being yourself in this moment. The activity of the mind is temporarily halted, but a sense of integrity of the self remains. And let me ask you a simple question. How do you explain that you are in fact you? An awareness of personal identity usually comes from one's position in society. Yet imagine for a moment that the social environment has disappeared and that you're just hanging in the same empty space of the cosmos. There is no earth. No sun. No past. No future. Just black emptiness. Everything else has disappeared. All that remains is you. So what of your former personality? All knowledge and thoughts, manners, habits, desires, fears, character and pursuits were dependent on your previous environment. What would remain of the self? Feel this void. I want you to go back in a memory to a point in which you were no body, no thing. And I want to tell you this story. It's an amazing story, and once you realize the journey this spark has gone on, you will treasure your heart like it is the greatest treasure of anything that you can imagine. A spark of this infinite intelligence rests right now in your heart. Go back a long time ago into that emptiness, into that void. And notice the awareness, the point of becoming aware, the very first point in which your soul, in all the millions of incarnations, became aware and woke up. Feelings, movement, 
energy flow yearning to experience to live to feel to observe a yearning deep down so you move and you seek out place to express your life once again. Had you forgotten who you were or do you remember? Searching in the void and you hear beating of a tiny tiny heart, tinier than you can ever imagine, the beat of this heart, and you can see it, a place to enter into this body, a portal, a gateway through this heart, and so, your spark came in to your heart. A spark of God with all the power and knowledge of the universe now and forever right there in your heart the sparks not your not your mind not your brain that's just the flesh that is built up in this material reality This insignificant mind has no clue or idea that carried right in its heart right now is a spark of infinite intelligence connected to the outer world in a way that can create magic. Anything is possible through the spark. The spark likes to observe and to experience and very much likes to feel. Divine essence gives it incredible knowledge, power, all lying dormant right there in your heart your own superpower the time has finally come in this incarnation for your heart to truly meet your mind to connect to become one and once we create this connection anything will be possible it's that simple breathe in and focus on your breath just let go of all your worries, fears, and concerns. Just breathe out. Breathe in. Let your diaphragm expand. Hold this breath deep inside. And then breathe out. Upon 
this breath is a sail carrying all the light and the essence of all the world around us. The spark in your heart can feel it. Breathe in through your heart. And follow the energy up to the top of your head. Up through your throat. Through your face. Up into the very crown of your head. You may feel a tiny little warmth or tickle right there. And then follow the energy back down from the top of your head down through your face into your neck down your chest into your heart where you see a yellow glowing ball right there in your heart as you breathe in this ball of yellow slowly becomes white and you focus on feelings of joy and bliss and love right now in this moment the spark begins to attract these feelings of joy pleasure any good positive emotion remember the heart does not speak language but it only feels so the purpose of this meditation is to break down the wall and reach in and communicate deeply with the heart. This ball of white gathers in feelings of great joy and bliss, memories of incredible emotions and experiences held inside the very tissue of your body becomes expressed in this moment right now. And this white ball slowly rises, very slowly, from your heart, moving up through your throat, through your head up to the top of your head and you can see the two energy channels going up and going down and put your hand on your heart What incredible gift. It was given to you. You didn't have to do anything. To, you didn't have to deserve it. You didn't have to work for it. It was given to you. This heart beats 80 beats per minute. That's 4,800 beats per hour. 115,200 beats per day. 42 million beats per year. And as long as it beats, you are you live. And so in this moment, we will bless your heart. And radiate love and gratitude for all the heart your heart has brought to you the way it pumps the blood in your body and the way it flows. It's incredible. Hello heart. Hello, heart. I, I, I 
and the mind. And I thank you for every beat and everything you do for me. I will treat you with the respect that you deserve. I will listen to your voice. In the next few moments, let your heart radiate out and connect with the alternative space all around you. The space of variations. Feel abundance, gratitude, joy, security, and safety, comfort right now in your heart. As this white ball of light moves upward into your mind, we acknowledge the incredible things your mind has brought you. Its incredible ability to regulate so many parts of your body. And we pay it respect and thank it in this moment. Thank you, mind, for all the things that you do. I'm thankful for every, every single thing that you allow me to do in this world. I want you to imagine you're walking down a hallway with a door at the end. nice carpeted floor and you open the handle and open the door into a room and right there it's your heart and we are in this place to communicate directly to your heart without all the other things Your heart is connected to all of the different possible variations and universes all around you. It knows the future. Your heart can basically send you two signals. Discomfort or comfort. You will listen to your heart with each decision that you make. You will not tune it out. If your heart sends you a signal that it's uncomfortable about a decision that you're making or something that you're doing, you will listen very carefully. Because your heart is getting signals from the rustle of the morning stars. Right now, you can ask your heart any question. And I want you to do that. Ask your heart about anything that you want. A business transaction, a relationship, an event that you want to go to, anything that you want. And ask yourself right now in this moment the question and really evaluate the response that your heart gets. We're going to do this repeatedly to begin a dialogue with your heart. 
ask the question now. Ask another question. Continue to ask and closely evaluate the response of your heart. Remember any time that you've ever had to talk to somebody that didn't speak your language. That's what's happening now. What you're trying to communicate with your heart, but it does not speak English. So you need to communicate with your heart. So we're going to ask right now that your heart to communicate to us and tell your heart now that we are listening. You may pick up signals or information may be sent to your subconscious in this moment, but open yourself up directly to your heart. Shut down the chatter of your mind that wants to analyze everything and understand everything. Let go of the shackles and the chains and listen to your heart. The spark found you right there because of your heart. Remember any masterpieces. All masterpieces speak to us in the language of the heart. Whatever you do, your work will only create an impression if it comes from the heart. The mind can build a new house using bricks from a previous model, but no one will be astounded by the new design. The mind can make a perfect copy, but only the heart is capable of an original. All you have to do is accept the axiom that the heart has everything it needs and then give yourself the joy of making the most of it. Allow yourself the luxury of having. The will to have depends on you alone. Focus for the next few moments purely on the connection between the heart and mind. Open up this pathway, this connection. Breathe in through your heart. out through your heart. Right now, I just want you to focus on something that you love. Something that you love a lot. That gives you passion and joy. It can be a person. It can be a thing. But I just want you to let it build. Every second, let the love get bigger and bigger. And feel it in your heart. And let it radiate.
Let the love grow. Feel it. Feel it. I am a sovereign being of light. I am infinite. I am a vessel for the truth. I am love flowing to and from itself. My heart is full and my cup is full. I am endless flow. Every cell in my body radiates light. I'm happy where I am and eager to be going where I'm going. I am harmony. I am divine source energy. Everything is always working out for me. I am a master reality chooser. Life is my biggest ally. I am in a daily state of total alignment in thought, in word, in feeling and action with the ease of my knowing. I have perfect health, a powerful energy field, and inner peace. I am calm and confident. I want to connect the heart to the plat. So keep these energy fields going up and down. I want you to wake up right now and say to yourself, I see reality and I see myself. Wake up. I see myself and I see reality. There's a bundle of energy right behind your head. Imagine it like a cord or a braid attached to the back of your head. One time you could feel it, it's like a phantom limb. 
And as you move your head around, you can feel this braid, this plait. You can feel it between your shoulders, on your back. Right now, I want you to find your plait. The cord may awaken. And I want you to tune into your heart with a feeling of gratitude and freedom, of prosperity and abundance, of joy, of satisfaction and safety. The greatest feelings from your heart and drop them to the tip of the back of that braid right now. Log into the awareness point between outer and inner intention right now. Wake up. See yourself and see reality. The spark right there in your heart is connected right to the top of your head, in your mind, in every way, to your third eye and to the plat. Activate your plat and drop incredible feelings. The feeling of whatever it is that you want to accomplish. I want you to create that now in these moments. And I want you to drop it right off to that energy cord on the back of your head. It may sound unusual. Don't worry. I want you to simply try. It's like you're exercising a muscle and you're awakening a connection. You'll begin to let your heart be your guide. More and more, you'll understand what that means. And as you focus your awareness on this, you will become aware of how to speak the language of the heart. Drop importance. Stop hoping. Take action. Start intending. Choose an incredible life track. Activate Observer. Embrace Silence. Quit arguing. Witness miracles. Say yes with your heart. Project nothingness. Unplug yourself. Choose wisely.
fall down. Get up. Stand out. Blend in. Act bravely. You choose. Decide now. Attract plenty. Reach out. Check yourself. Sweat daily. Let go. Generate. Cash. Circulate. Money. Choose with your heart. Let your dreams be lucid. Take chances. Hide out. Wake up. Stay awake. Cut contact. Determine meaning. Try less. Emit success. Pay attention. Live freely. Seek out. Go within. Accept graciously. Stay calm. Maintain harmony. Be impeccable. Never complain. Judge no one. Discover magic. Make masterpieces. Defeat pendulums. Don't react. Deserve everything. Choose your reality. Take control. Take everything. Start today. You've connected the heart and mind. You've asked it questions, and you've tried to listen to it as best you can. During this time of alignment, I gave simple suggestions in hopes that the heart, with its simplicity, 
could understand. In the next few moments, I want you to remember some incredible moments in your past that you're very grateful for. Maybe it's a sporting event or a family reunion, something with a pet, something recent or long ago. With your hand upon your heart, I want you to just let this soak in. This incredible moment, I want you to feel it. I want you to smell it. I want to bring in as much detail as possible. Such gratitude for having experienced such an incredible moment. Now I want you to remember a second moment, something incredible from your past that gives you incredible joy and I want you to let it vibrate through your whole body and this time I want you to increase the feeling 10, 20, 100 times, feel it in your body literally shaking with this feeling. you to remember a third thing, some incredible event, all the details of it and how you felt in that moment. Through your heart, I want you to focus on the space of variations in this moment and find gratitude, incredible gratitude, the kind that you're jumping up and down. Thank you with such incredible joy and thankfulness. Think of all the things you have to be grateful for. No matter how small it is, list as much as you possibly can right now. you want to thank your heart again for everything it's given you and everything that it will give you in the future. Roll your eyes upwards to your forehead. Feel your forehead begin to expand and let this energy come up. Feel it being pulled upward. Notice the energy pathway between both. Feel this exchange of energy and momentum between inner and outer intention with real magic in this moment. At the point of awareness between this inside of you and the outside magic that can allow you to do anything with that spark right there in your heart. Focus in on this spark.
And with this spark, we ask kindly that you provide a little energy to our guardian angel, to our guardian that watches us every action that we take and act as a translator. And I ask my guardian angel to act as a translator to the language of the heart. And I give it more energy and thankfulness. You do not have to believe that it existed before you, but you can believe that with your own thoughts you've created this guardian. And in either case, the more energy you give it, the greater it can accomplish for you. And now finally, I want you to focus in to the void, into this moment, on the feeling of the thing that it is that you want, of your true intention. And, and I want you to become aware of this feeling. Perhaps it's a feeling of freedom, of security, of comfort, of joy, of radiance and good health of amplified energy I want you to, to focus in on this Find it with your heart. Let the information of this sector come in through your heart into your subconscious mind. With the vast quantum computer of your subconscious, you will now detail and log in all of the critical information for your future now. Through your heart, you'll bring in as much information about these feelings, and you will serve as a beacon radiating outward at the first hint or trigger of true joy, creating waves of fortune throughout your day, constantly radiating out joy, bliss, freedom. We thank that spark inside of our heart. And we ask the spark to move from being just an observer and to talk to my mind. We open up and let go of all possible preconceptions and tune out all the baggage and open up and listen to the heart over these next few moments. creating a deep connection between your subconscious and your conscious, between your heart and your mind. Amplify this connection. Create a flash right now, a frame, some image, something that can capture this feeling of connection between your heart and mind, something that you can immediately resonate to, a simple image or flash in your mind to remind you of this deep connection that you're feeling right now. Throughout the day, you can come to this connection and instantly pull back right into resonance between your heart and your mind. Tune in now, tune your heart and let it unify 
with your mind and seek out a life of joy, of freedom, and create in your mind a visual slide with as much detail as you possibly can. Really create it. Be in the moment through your own eyes, streaming to you. Feel it. Hear what you would hear and see what you would see and feel what you would feel. Activate that energy braid, that plat, once again, feel it rise and drop these images and feelings right to the tip and let it stream into your life. Don't worry about the time or how it's going to happen. Just know that it will now happen for sure. Let go and become excited for this new experience destined for your future. Sink it, link it, unify the heart with your mind. Go to your inner intention center and outer intention center. You know where it's at, that place between all worlds. Connect the heart and the mind. The part of you, your true essence is right there. Right there in your heart with every beat and every breath. Observing, feeling, with incredible joy. Right there, you can ask it any question. Right there, it will give you any answer. What an incredible journey this spark has been on to come into your beating heart right now. What an incredible connection has now begun. The heart and mind understand each other, are linked, and the mind will tune in the feelings of the heart and become better and better at reading the signals that it sends. Now I want you to just come back to your awareness point, come back to your body. I want you to wake up. I want you to see yourself and see reality. You find yourself coming back into flow, awake with your eyes open. And as you move forward into your day, every moment will be magical if you simply let your heart take the wheel.
Welcome, 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 welcome to the reality revolution.